continuing to come out with the big information being this a ripple uh xrp i mean they've dominated the sec there's this is one of the 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 most incredible moments that crypto has seen in a very very long time this is exactly what this market kind of needed now here's the other part to this you know what's happening ripple was ordered to pay 125 million dollars in penalties for improperly selling xrp tokens now what happened judge annalisa torres last year ruled that odl uh, sales do not constitute a security however institutional sales do constitute a security so um because they did that there has to be some kind of penalty and the sec and ripple labs been arguing about the penalty ripple Labs said they should not pay more than 125 million in any way because there's no real disgorgement there's no real damage there's no real anything the only thing is the sec is trying to gouge a, a company for money there, there, this is a shakedown right well uh turns out judge torres 100 agreed showed the math and ordered a settlement of 125 million dollars uh gary gensler was going to use that two billion dollars for eye surgery by the way to get his eyes replaced with real eye uh instead of those giant orbs that i don't know what he does with those uh, wild anyway the sec had been seeking fines and penalties totaling two billion dollars uh chief uh, legal officer stuart alderodi said in march this penalty would qualify only for a fraction of that amount the sec previously sued ripple um accusing them of illegally raising more than 1.3 million in an unregistered securities offering by selling xr the sec dropped its remaining claims against garlinghouse and larson in october the case has been highly watched uh, we respect the court's decision, said Brad Garlinghouse, and have clarity to continue growing our company. Now, what does that mean for XRP? Well, the odds of XRP getting an ETF just went way up on Polymarket because um, they win. I mean, this is a win. Not And look, anytime you get sued, it's not a win. But when you get sued for billions of dollars and the end result is most of what was brought to you uh, was declared invalid in a court of law and upheld and your penalty instead of $2 billion is $100 million, you won. So uh, Nate Geraci, president of the ETF store, uh, said when XRP ETF, he also highlighted the significance of Judge Torres ruling sharing a screenshot, said the judge reiterated her view that Ripple's programmatic sale of XRP to retail clients, which is ODL, through exchanges did not violate federal securities laws. The violation came when it was selling to institutions. So uh, there's no $1.3 billion lost or, or scammed or anything like. Now, we're going to couple this, we're going to talk about it, but uh, the Brazilian uh, Securities and, and, and Exchange Commission, Greenlight, uh, greenlit last night a Solana ETF. This serves as the precedence for the U.S. to follow the global trend and give regulatory nod to all other altcoin uh, funds, just like the Ethereum ETF. So uh, Brazil has a Solana ETF coming, and there's going to be more. Now that XRP has some clarity, here we go. We're going to see something big. Now, in addition to this, uh, Kamala Harris just came out with a uh, and by the way, it's not Kamala Harris, but it's like a, a crypto donation platform for Kamala Harris. But she has been taking a lot of meetings. It's being revealed. And by the way, it's not revealed all at once, but it's being you know parsed out daily um, that she is uh, meeting with Democrats and Republicans and trying to boost uh, I I innovation and adoption, th which is wild. To consider and that and, and and here's here's why it's wild because donald trump is doing the same thing and he's got a major announcement that's coming very soon i'm going to tell you what i think this announcement is going to be i don't think it's the nfts anymore uh, yesterday i said that i think it's probably just going to be like the nfts like the fourth generation i think it is i think he's already done three uh so it's either the third or the fourth generation nft launch but i don't think that's it because that doesn't qualify as something big and to be fair if that was the announcement people would be like that's not doing anything now if you know look if you're if you're maga if you're deep in the cult then you're going to be like oh yeah that's the greatest thing that's ever happened but it's not right it doesn't do anything for 
cryptocurrency doesn't do anything for adoption. Cryptonomy.finance just had an update. They are now available in four different languages. In active development are a lot of cool different updates and information about partnerships from Cryptonomy that's gonna be announced very, very soon. Now, to be part of that, follow them on Telegram at Cryptonomy underscore finance and on Twitter at Cryptonomy underscore Fi. Now, what's going on with Cryptonomy.finance is nothing short of incredible. My positions on this launch pad have been just outstanding. And my contract ends November 21 of 2024. And at this point, I think that that's not even going to be the max of the bull run. So if you will give me just a moment here, I'm going in. By the way, I've done very well on Cryptonomy. I'm going to go with the silver level contract and end right here 19 june 2025 we're gonna go three bitcoin on this move all right so we've got a bronze that's been just absolutely killing the game guys i put in half a bitcoin uh previously if you remember that was thirty thousand dollar bitcoin at that point so you know we put in about fifteen thousand dollars my crude interest so far and, and by the way i do have this is a share because it's a 50 50 split but my cut of that eighty four thousand two hundred forty one dollars right now in bitcoin so this is an incredible rate of return so far for cryptonomy.finance. So uh, do you want to be part of that? Sign up to cryptonomy.finance today.